Hey, it's Steve Walton here. Welcome back to Epic TV's daily coverage of Crankworks Europe. Yesterday was the penultimate day, which meant that it was time for the Tiva Best Trick competition. The best trick competition was full of action from start to finish. Antoine Bizet pulled out an insane double backflip. Despite this, Frenchman Yannick Granieri won due to the technicality of his flip double whip. Later on that evening, after the prize giving for the best trick, it was time for one of everybody's favorite events, the Pump Track Challenge. Frenchman Adrian Laurent won this event with Matt Walker, Wind Masters and mountain bike legend Kyle Stray also putting in strong results. So you were riding in the pump track uh, challenge last night, what happened there? You normally a uh, demon at those things. Yeah, I came, uh, came in from riding downhill a bit late and I had two, two, uh, two practice runs but uh, qualified good and qualified third and then this uh, rain fight in the final big time. I stopped before the uh, finish line so uh, I thought I was beating the dudes so I just stopped and um, didn't go through, so what can you do? The, you rode the air downhill. Do you think that could be a do you think that could be a World Cup track? Absolutely could easily be a World Cup track. You know, it's it's got enough elevation, it's gnarly enough, it's got some good jumps in there. Uh, it should be a downhill track, you know. But they sort the bottom out a bit so it's not so flat, but uh dude it's pretty awesome. It can definitely it's definitely World Cup standard. And it's a good fun track, you know, you've got everything on it, it's steep and technical and then big jumps and so yeah, it's good that they should have a World Cup here. The course was good actually, um, you know, I, I think it's capable, like it's a good enough track to have a World Cup on for sure. It's quite technical, quite fast, quite physical. I, I really think this can be a World Cup course. It's, you can't really compare it to anything. It's quite steep. Um, there's not, not any routes. There's a couple of technical little spots, but it's more just because it's steep and kind of tricky, but pretty deep, loamy sort of dirt with just enough moisture in it to have really, Really predictable drifting. It was, it was a lot of fun. The race run was awesome. And if you weren't a biker, if you weren't a pro biker, what would your job be? Probably just be a film star. A doctor. After racing for quite a few years and working closely with R&D and um, product development, as far as racing goes with the companies I work with, Engineering could still be something I'm interested in. I have been no idea. I was pretty lucky that mountain biking came into my life because yeah, I was pretty pretty lost. Didn't know what what I was gonna do really. So um, maybe exactly non-pro biker probably. <laughs> That's not easy. <laughs> if I wasn't a pro mountain biker, I'd probably be a pro enduro motocross rider or motocross <laughs> or like an English teacher or something like that. Ha <laughs> ha.